All right, let's uh, get into a review of the new AGM Rattler V2. This is the V2. A uh, couple of quick things that don't really matter much, but this is a Rattler V1 box. And then you can see the uh, little case it comes with. AGM has always done a better job of packaging than most of the other manufacturers in my experience. So that's kind of cool. Uh, that said, the V2 comes in a even nicer box and has an even nicer carrying travel case. It has uh, all, it comes with obviously all the cables and everything you need, a manual, yada, yada, yada. Cool compartments uh, for your charger, scope, etc. Pretty cool. The charger, let's talk about the star of the show, this integrated battery and the charger it comes with. It comes with two batteries. This battery lasts eight to 10 hours of actual real world use. I used this in negative five degrees the other night and I still was able to make it like 75% of a full night on one battery. So that's incredible in my opinion. Uh, CR123s, if you have a, any experience with those, you know that they just fall off a cliff. As soon as you get below zero, they fall off a cliff and your lifespan of each CR123 just plummets. It, it goes to complete garbage. So the fact that these still performed in sub-zero temperatures was amazing. Absolutely incredible. Huge fan there. Um, I, for the last four hunts, have ran the Rattler V2 on my 6 millimeter arc with a 14.5 proof research barrel, Huxworks 7.62 Ti, uh, Votatu, Amazon laser for locating the dogs after I shoot them. All kinds of fabric and material built up so that the uh, aluminum and the grip and the stock don't get too cold, uh, freezing me out. <laughs> so even though it's just a small amount of material, it goes a long ways. I've got Silencer Co. Ambidextrous Lower, uh, pretty Gucci, Ambi uh, Safety. When I'm on the tripod, I actually do run it like this. And so I like having that ambidextrous safety. And so, yeah, this is the AGM Rattler V2. Get a look at it. Pretty rugged looking. Uh, pretty familiar, pretty similar to the Rattler V1, I'm sure, in appearance. But uh, more rugged and durable than some of the competition that I've used and have experience with. Let's slip, throw this up here real quick. Uh, another feature that I really like about the Rattler V2 is the use of the ADM quick release lever. I like this push button quick release lever a lot more than LaRue. I have the LaRue right here on a competitor scope. Um, this, this lever seems to be a decent system. However, I have to get this thing obscenely tight. Uh, even tighter than this one. You just watched me take this one off. I have to get this one obscenely tight to not have any forward or back motion or anything like that. So uh, not a fan of the LaRue, unfortunately. A big fan of the ADM. So I'm very happy that uh, AGM went with the ADM, uh, the American Defense Ma Machine Manufacturing ADM <laughs> with the ADM lever. Uh, obviously, it's got, you know, focus, it's got buttons, power button, camera, menu, zoom. Uh, talking about zoom, though, let's talk about the features that aren't obvious. The zoom is really cool because it's not a stepped zoom. So what that means is when you click it to the next level, it zooms in instead of stepping to the next zoom level. And so it's a much more smooth, fluid zoom in uh, process, a little slower just a little bit, but honestly, I like it a lot better because I, I maintain better awareness of what I'm looking at. One of my very few complaints about this scope actually though, is this is how you turn on the picture in picture. When you turn on the picture in picture and try to zoom in, only the picture in picture zooms. Uh, I am not a fan of that. I don't know if there are people out there that are fans of that, but I personally am not a fan of that. I dislike that very much. Uh, I like to use the picture in picture to aim, but I also like to zoom in one click before I take a shot so that I can have as precise of uh, aiming situation as I can get. And so for, for me personally, I'm not a fan of the fact that when I have the picture in picture turned on and I zoom in one click, 
the picture in picture zooms, but the main image stays the same. Uh, not my favorite thing. Hopefully they can change that in a future firmware update, but I don't know, maybe that I'm not privy to the uh, engineers and why they make decisions. So maybe, maybe that was for a specific reason. I don't know, but what I do know is that it's not my favorite thing. Um, that said, let's cover the battery compartment real quick. I am a huge fan of this little tab right here. Such a simple addition, but what that means is if your battery tray opens, the battery stays locked in and your scope doesn't turn off. Uh, I actually had it happen once where we called in a triple and I had this scope and my battery tray wasn't closed all the way and I fired my first shot and my battery tray popped open and one of my batteries actually fell all the way out of the scope. There were two other dogs at the stand that I could have potentially shot at, but since my batteries were on the ground, I was scrambling to try to hurry in the get those back in the scope. So for me, this battery compartment is a brilliant yet simple design where it's just got this locking tab for your battery to lock your battery in. That is super cool. Uh, now, to talk about the most important feature of this optic, the clarity. Uh, this is a uh, 12 micrometer, 50 millimeter, 640. This is a 12 micrometer, 50 millimeter, 640 from one of their competitors who I will not name. This scope blew my mind when I got it. I went from a 384 to this 640 and I thought this was the bee's knees. This was the clearest scope I'd ever seen. Uh, this scope legitimately changed my world to where I was like, I'll never go back. I can't go back. Now that I've had 640, I can't go back. That said, high expectations from that scope. The first time I got this scope out into the uh, real world to do some coyote hunting, this thing blew me away. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I could not believe that the AGM Rattler was giving me better clarity and better uh, capability of identification over a scope with the exact same specs. I don't know how to. I don't know how to better describe it because I didn't do any side by side footage, but. Even in snowstorms, this took the edge. I had better visibility, better clarity through snow, rain, uh, wind, uh, humidity, clear conditions, all of the above. This is more clear than other 640s I've experienced. Now, mind you, the new Pulsar, uh, definitely these are in the same league. I would say these are in the same league, which again, I can't believe I'm saying that, but the AGM Rattler V2 is in the same league as the Pulsar and the I-Ray, which to me is absolutely incredible. For what you're paying for one of these, you are absolutely uh, getting more than your money's worth, in my opinion, based on the fact that the clarity of this thing is absolutely incredible. I'll splice in some footage here of some of the, uh, of some of the footage that I've gathered so far, some of the dogs that I've shot, uh, even a fox probably, but... That said, if you if you get your hands on one of these, you will be pleasantly surprised by the clarity that these that this scope is able to achieve. The other thing that I'm a huge fan of is that it actually retains zero. Even if I take it off and put it back on, I've had good return to zero so far. Whereas this piece of crap, I tested this scope at the range the other day. I could not make it 10 rounds without my zero shifting several inches. So this scope uh, for the last year, I would have really good luck. I'd you know, put down uh, several coyotes in a row and then I would randomly have a shot that should have been a hit, crosshairs right center of the kill zone and it would be a complete miss. I'd go to the range, I would check and I'd be four or five, six inches off. Uh, I even once called in a double at like 60 yards and I missed about eight inches high because this thing can't hold zero. So for me, huge, huge win here is purely the fact that this thing is held zero. Uh, I took it on a weekend trip where we hunted all weekend and it definitely got banged around, definitely got bumped into a time or two. Um, you know how it is, in and out of the truck, all of that, through all of that, I confirmed zero after removing it from the rifle even 
and putting it back on and this thing has held zero phenomenally well. So the fact that I A, hold zero phenomenally well and B, get an edge in clarity over my old scope is a huge win. I can't, I can't think of any better uh, features to go over. All the other features, if you're familiar with thermal, they're there. You have all the different color palettes. You have the zoom. You have, you know, you have, you can adjust your contrast. You can adjust all of those settings that you need. I personally liked running it. At, you can see in the, in the, uh, some of the images that I'll splice in. I liked running it on black hot, but I was able to tweak my settings based on the conditions of the environment to get a clear image every time. Uh, so I don't need to go over any of that stuff. It has a charging port on the scope, all that stuff. You, you're familiar with all that stuff. But the biggest improvements, the biggest wins in my opinion, the fact that A, it takes an edge in clarity, and B, it actually holds zero. Like this thing holds zero leaps and bounds better than my other scopes have. So uh, for me personally, I'm a huge fan. Uh, I legitimately wish they would let me keep this scope, but, uh, as AGM pro staff, uh, <laughs> this one was a loner. I was contributing to footage for them so that they would have some footage. I asked if I could make a review. They said yes, but at the end of the day, I've got to send this one back, which honestly, uh, is a little painful to say, but it's okay. I'll use the AGM Rattler V1 for now until the next one comes in and I'll uh, make a new review then. Okay, guys. Uh, if you've watched all of this video so far, buy an AGM Rattler V2. You will not regret it. Uh, the 50 millimeter 640 blows my mind. Like, such a good scope. Just buy it. You won't regret it.